from your viewpoint, what is the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning? AI is, is, is the whole you know, surface or the sphere that we can think about human level intelligence, which can be from data or not from data. Machine learning is learning from data and deep learning is a very specific field within machine learning that uses neural networks to learn from data. How the three of them solve different problems? One of the first things that was solved in AI or researchers tried to solve in AI was path planning. So let's say if you have a robot or if you have a car, one thing you want to do is you have the starting position, you have the ending position, and you want to do a path planning so you can go from point A to point B. This requires zero data. All you need is the starting position, the ending position, and all the obstacles on the way. So this is basic AI. Machine learning, on the other hand, is going to say, okay, I'm not going to use geometric formulas to solve this, but rather I'm going to have one agent that's going to try to go from point A to point B probably one million times, and it's gonna gather data every single time that it goes from point A to point B. Let's say it can reward it whenever it gets closer to point B, and it would give it a penalty whenever it hits the wall. And then from those many iterations, it would learn that, oh, hey, if I'm getting closer to an obstacle, I wanna go away from it so I won't hit it until I reach my destination. So that would be machine learning approach. And then deep learning, which is again, uh, within machine learning, you would be using neural networks to learn this behavior. To somebody that doesn't know what neural networks are, what is the difference? Like in, in one case, you are trying many times until you learn. Basically, it's like a mouse in a, in a cage that until he understands that has to turn. How is machine learning, let's say, different than deep learning in this case? We're going to think about the features that are important when we're trying to learn a task. So we're going to talk about, let's say, two features. One is the speed of the agent that's trying to go from point A to point B. And the other one is the closest obstacle. I'm going to say, Paulo, if I give you these two things, you're going to be able to learn to get from point A to point B. And you would say, OK, say it. And you would go on route. And you would figure out getting to obstacle is more important than my speed. But then you gain some momentum and you hit a wall and then you realize, oh wait, maybe my speed is also important. You keep doing these iterations until you figure out the importance of each one of those features that I give you. So these are manually handed over to you and I say distance to the wall and the speed. And then based on those, you would say, okay, I can get to my destination. Deep learning, what it does is you don't give it those features. It can learn millions of features internally. And then what it does is after many more iterations, you have no idea what features are important, but the deep learning model can mimic that behavior very accurately. Why we, we haven't done it yet? Where is the challenge? I guess it's, we don't know what intelligence is exactly. I mean, we're taking you know, a couple of steps at it. We think a, an intelligence system needs to detect objects. It needs to understand language. But the fact is, us as humans, we don't know what our intelligence is. We don't know what our consciousness is. And it's, it's really hard to develop something that we can't even define. So I guess for that reason, that's definitely an obstacle on its own, which is why you're you know, there's a whole field of neuroscience and computational neuroscience that's exactly trying to understand, okay, what are we as humans? What defines our intelligence? Are we just, you know, a system that detects objects and can talk about them and then we have, you know, some control functionalities? Is that it? What else is involved? And, and then these go hands to hand. So if you have, if there's a new thing that comes from neuroscience that says, okay, now humans can access memory like X, Y, Z, then people in AI do implement that understanding or nuanced understanding of the intelligence.